Three men charged in a home invasion murder in paradise appeared today in court. The preliminary hearing began for Christopher Levin, Daryl Hughes, and William Brunley. All three were arrested back in June for their part in the death of 50-year-old Paradise resident Eric Jones in December of 2008. The trio reportedly was after Jones's marijuana when they broke into his home on Azalea Lane. Jones was bound and gagged in his front yard, and that's where he suffocated. Their preliminary hearing will continue tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. The woman accused of murdering a Durham businessman says she's not guilty. 47 year old Jacqueline Bolf entered that plea during her arraignment today. She was arrested in April for allegedly shooting her live in boyfriend Robert Bauman at his Chico home on Sega Lane. Bauman was the owner of Bob's Concrete Pumping Company. Bolf's trial is set for October 24th. Prosecutors say a man charged with killing four Northern California women kept a safety deposit box to store items related to the victims. It was a box that was separate from one he used for money. During a pretrial hearing today, prosecutors said the contents of that box are significant evidence in the case against Joseph Nasso. Prosecutors want to subpoena bank records to confirm the box belongs solely to Nasso. The 77-year-old is charged with the murders in the 1970s and 90s of four prostitutes with matching initials, including two whose bodies were found in Yuba County. Prosecutors say Nasso also kept a list in his Reno home that described 10 women including the four murder victims. Authorities have not said if the remaining six have been located. The man accused of shooting two people inside LaSalle's bar in downtown Chico was assigned a new attorney today. 25-year-old Shane Warner was in court this morning for his preliminary hearing, but it was continued after his attorney declared a conflict of interest in the case. Warner's attorney says someone involved with the case was a former client of his. A hearing is scheduled for Thursday to determine whether public defender Mark Stapleton will take over. Norwegian police continue their investigation into Friday's bombing and mass shooting that left at least 76 people dead. Anders Breivik admitted to the attacks in his first court appearance yesterday. His lawyer says he claimed there are other insiders out there. He says that he is a part of an international organization. He says that it's, there are several cells throughout the Western world. While authorities are looking into potential cells, they say they're confident Breivik acted alone. His lawyer also says Breivik is insane and he's not aware of the impact of his attacks. Breivik has pleaded not guilty, saying he was trying to save Europe from Muslim colonization. <laughs> President Obama and Vice President Biden are offering their condolences to the people of Norway. They signed a condolence book during an unannounced visit today to the Norwegian ambassador's residence in Washington, D.C. The president said last week these tragic events were a reminder that the world has a stake in stopping acts of terrorism. There's more to come on NBC 24 Action News at 5.30. More and more North State horse owners are forced to give up their animals and they're blaming the economy. We'll look at what's behind the trend and what becomes of the abandoned...